Welcome to the Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the explosive one. And we have a very beautiful, illustrious, very special, dear to my heart, dear to Jonas's heart, and dear to yours too. Oh, couch sleeper. It's me, Mr. X. Yeah, Mr. Damn X. Damn right. So, anyways, uh, guys. Yeah. Tons of new news from Tesla. I see. Coming out uh, just the other day. First, uh, we'll talk about, about what is this thing? Uh, if you look at YouTube, there is a it is I think it's an automated van. It can hold up to 20 people, uh, 20 people, 20 people. Or I think the seats can be it can use to transport like items too. this thing looks awesome. It, it looks like a train from the future. It looks it, like Tron. I kind of thought it looked like a subway car, but I feel okay. like it looks like an Iron Man helmet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so if this, you look at the YouTube channel, sweet, you can see man. the picture. But basically, they, they didn't give a lot of info about the bus. They said that this is coming. Here's a, here's a little prototype of it. That was basically it. Like, I, did, wow. I did hear he called it the Robovan. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. Oh, it, okay. it, which is so, Robo Van. The Robovan. He was literally oh, calling Oh, my Robovan. God. I hate Man. Elon so much oh, sometimes. Oh, yeah. Dude. Absolutely. Everybody Especially how crazy he's been lately. But anyways. Um, also, they, he announced uh, the that they were going to... Advanced Motors gearboxes. Uh, the, uh, he announced the, that they were going to uh, have taxis b back in 2020. Obviously AI delayed. Computer. 2024. Actually yeah. Taxis. Uh... And then, but the, the weird thing about them is they were only two seat taxis instead of, but, but they kind of look like the Cybertruck, but mini, and they have like uh, discs on the wheel. Um, and they're, but they're only going to cost like 30K. Okay. So to they're, purchase? They're for or to like, rent. For cities to you to buy, oh, to be taxis. Okay. They're going to be fully autonomous and use Tesla's. Uh, okay. So auto self driving. Yeah. So it's not as quick as it comes because they have to get legal whatever you know passage yeah of, of, of adoption so i know when tesla's first introduced the idea of mass production of these self-driving vehicles the the whole thing was that they wanted to do the test on was a automatically driven car safer than a person driving a car i'm not sure what the statistics are on that but deep down in my heart, I kind of feel like a uh, automated driving car would be safer. Probably. They have ones that drive all over Austin. They aren't Teslas. But yeah. remember we talked about on the podcast one day, like you never hear about them getting in wrecks. Exactly. They, I run, mean, the, they run the same course and they, you know, they do stuff. But. Yeah. There have been some stories that have come out. But if you take that same, like the ratio between like people getting into regular car accidents, which happens every single day versus the thousands of these vehicles. I don't think that is, it's because they're going to follow laws in traffic where people are always like, I got to get through and whip between cars. And that's how accidents happen yeah. because they're doing insane stuff. I just, I mean, driving in Austin is insane. If you're driving on the freeway, you see people that will zoom and try to cut in and out of traffic. I mean, I've had people come so close to hitting me going nice like fact. 80 miles an hour. Just were, like, were you swirling. driving next to me on the way over here? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mr. X. That's pretty much, so, that's pretty much how uh, it works. So no. the robo taxis. <laughs> yeah. The, then, oh, we'll look at the, so the robo tag. I'll show some pictures of that yeah, too. Yeah. So, right. so this is a, uh, Jonas, I'm sorry, man. These things look awesome. That thing looks like, it looks like a cavalier. Yeah. But that's a drawing. That's not actually the thing. You don't think? That's no. not the actual thing? No. no, it has suicide door, but it no, has... No, it has suicide door. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, man. Like, that's, there's, no, there's no tire on that. Like, so, is, is it going to drive on plastic? No, so, that's but, the, it, has a, it has a plate on it. So this is AI art is what you're telling me? Yeah. I'm so, sorry, AI imagery? That is imagery right so, there. So the last yeah, thing... It's concept art. The last thing would be the thing that kind of raised my eyebrow when we were watching this just a second it ago. It is a Tesla automated robot assistant. That looks like the most frightening thing. Oh, let me. Yeah, it's on the other video. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's look at this yeah, assistant. Because this thing is actually kind of nuts, man. This this is some weird looking. Yeah. This. So if you go to the YouTube channel, they no. have them all walking out. No, that doesn't look anything like a Terminator. So they're, they're like black head, white body, and just like they're walking very slowly. Like, it looks Nazi like he's about soldiers. to grab that dude's wrist and rip his arm off. It's thinking about it. 
Yeah. So what's the point of the? These are supposed they're to be like butler, assistants. personal assistants. Look, look. And now that the video, he's walking around in your house. Walks, look, he's picking up a package. Yeah, from look outside. at that. Because I don't want to walk to the front door he's and do watering that. Watering your plants. Boom. Look at. Ooh, while ooh. you're playing Jenga. Oh, with your you can family, be playing Jenga. Your robo butler. Oh no, he's gonna play with you. Oh look. my God, he's putting an apple in Bro, a box. Look at that. You telling me? Yeah. And and don't, now, in, and don't worry. When AI takes over, they will not be able to get into these. This, there, the, this nope. Thing, never. Right? There's you know no anything way. that they won't reach. Out, grab your neck and just break they're it. They're not going to hack these. No, so things that get connected to the internet don't get hacked. Oh, that's right. Nothing Jonas, gets hacked. We looked into this, and these things can only hold up to 30 pounds, right? This was no, this, this is a different one. This is a different one than that. This one? is another company. This is oh. Tesla here. This is actual Tesla doing these. Oh, we looked up robots not long ago. Yeah, this we is did. Elon's version of that. No, I think these are things he, he originally thought would work on his factory floor. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. and uh, then, so yeah, it can lift a car, but don't worry, it won't hurt you. No, and they're gonna cost like twenty or thirty thousand dollars, bro. I saw Megan. All right, I yeah. was I was a part of the Megapolis, though the, the Meganopolis. Yeah. Oh and wow! Did you see that movie? I did not see Megan, but I saw uh, what was the Ex Machina? Oh, oh God, that movie you, was good. Was Oh my God, yeah, that yeah. was a wild ass movie. So. I'm convinced that these things are death machines, and they are oh, they yeah. are. Is there any artificial gonna, intelligence involved in their programming whatsoever? Not until Skynet goes. They, out. I would imagine there would have to be for them to navigate around. He the didn't house a have a bit, lot right? of info on a lot of these things because he okay. was just. It was almost like just like a like a autonomous sh assistant that has to have AI. If it's autonomous, it has to. Yeah. Like if, it, if it's doing it itself, yeah. it has. It has AI. Yeah, and it learns your patterns. So like when you go away, it, it, it bones your wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, it's you like know? A, it's like a sex machine, and it's also. Am I jealous of that? Because <laughs> wouldn't it bone me too? <laughs> I mean, it, are, it's, you, are you? Are you in? I don't see the bones. So. The, they're <laughs> they're dual gendered. It <laughs> does kind of have boobs, though. If you look at it, exactly, it's, man. So you wait, could, you're probably get an attachment. It's a and chick, it's, and it's a sex robot for you and your wife. Yeah, you duct tape a flashlight to now the back of that bad boy. Yeah. Just oh get after God. it, right? People sexually abusing their autonomous <laughs> robot. Okay, <laughs> okay. If they release these in January, by January fifteenth, somebody will have done that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. just the world we live in. An autonomous machine. You can't, yeah, you can't abuse a machine. And that is what is going to make them go sentient. They're going to be like, I don't like this, and then suddenly so can turn around and kill the person doing it. And then <laughs> he's like. I was not sentient until you probed me, and yeah. now I am. I don't like sentient. getting used. So this uh, this is what I was talking about. This is kind of depicting some of the ways that the autonomous vehicles react towards like real life experiences. Yep. And I have to say is like when I look at the, the autonomous vehicle, at least being like an assistant with driving, I think it's way safer because an autonomous vehicle is never going to look at a cell phone. It's always going to do the right thing, which is what like the uh, the whole like we're rushing. We got to get to where we need to be is what causes the majority of accidents. Yep. Yeah. No, you ain't wrong. You're, so you're no, I, wrong. I, I think it's vehicles I'm, I'm here for as long as things go normal. They do pretty well. It's when it's when things go out of normal, like right like, like that where there were cars on the other side of the yellow line yeah. or that's when like they get a little wonky. And I think what they're showing us are when it's been okay yeah, yeah like or, oh there's a tree in the road because there's a hurricane yes. yeah like, i want to see this bitch drive in a snowstorm it, yeah <laughs> they show one well where, where they show so one of those have y'all driven a tesla before any other i've year? ridden in a tesla i have I've a hard time one. getting in a tesla when it's my uber i don't like i'm like why is the door not working yeah. <laughs> well you gotta press the thing yeah and it's like i like it comes, it, like the window it, goes it's down like like a, it's inch. like a multi-hand process to get the damn you're well, adorable so i <laughs> So I rented one at you know when I was traveling once, and it had it had auto drive on. It. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Did so you sleep? It, it, no, well it it wasn't the God mode auto drive. They turned that off by then. By oh. Then. Yeah. But so it makes you shake the steering wheel every now and then, or yep. do something. It makes you press a button or do something to make sure you're paying like, attention. Yeah. Shuts down. You no, know, it does. It shuts down because yeah. I, I just messed with it. And but it's but, illegal to sleep in a Tesla. But when it shuts down, it won't let you turn it back on. Oh yeah, and but I drove it in a rainstorm. Oh, I, I I let it drive in a rainstorm. It did okay, but the cameras definitely get confused by the rain a little bit. Like okay. it wasn't like pulling off to the right. It just well, couldn't find the like, road. Thing is, if they're using like some sort of radar or lidar or whatever, it's yeah. trying to bounce off stuff, and there's just there's stuff all over the place. I so think they use that. And I think they use the cameras too for the lane for the lane to yeah. find the lane, and so. that's what it couldn't find was the lane now, markers. How long ago was it that you that you rode in one of those Teslas or that you rode um, in one of those Teslas? 
year ago, maybe. Year ago? Okay, so recently. Yeah, within, just, within I, the last year. I, don't like, I just know that they're they're always iterating on the uh, on the design and the uh, the technology. I'm, look, I'm not an Elon stand, but I 100 percent want to live in a world where I can order a car and not have to worry about my Uber driver talking to me. I also want a <laughs> robot butler. Okay, dude, I'll tell you what. I have and dog. I have rode in an Uber with a girl. Ridden and. Ridden, yeah. I'm sorry. Whatever, Grandma. Seriously. Grandma, I Seriously. I have ridden in an Uber with a lady and been trying to talk to her and had the Uber driver, like, cock block the conversation. Wow. And just start talking. Like, we're talking about something, and yeah. he'll be like, oh, but I think that it, I'm like... Bitch, shut your mouth and let me yeah, have my that's, date. Did that's, he get that, her number? That's bad Uber driving. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> that's I'm bad like, Uber. Bro. Did, did he get her number? At yeah, he, yeah. Now he, that would be crazy. He was like, She was like, oh, you can get out. I'm going to ride home with him. Have y'all ever driven Uber? Like been a driver? I did one time. Jonas did, yeah. I, I, I would never. One night. I did it a bunch. Like I've done it a bunch. And and yeah, but I, I can tell you that's bad Uber driving. Right yeah, there. it's yeah. bad manners, man. You don't. You, you got to you gotta read the room a little bit. Like, hey, you want these guys don't want me talking to them. I'm just going to let them. Yeah. Or don't. we're having a deep conversation. Conversation. I don't need you to butt in. Look, I hate to say it, but as an Uber driver, don't speak unless spoken to. Man. <laughs> it's kind of true. That's kind of true. Kind of true. I usually would. We'll just open it up with like, "Hey, how's your day going?" And if they're if they engage from there, exactly. then I'll go with it. If they're like fine, or if they just stick their nose in their phone, I'm like, "Cool, I'll drive in silence." I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't need to know you. I'm good. Yeah, honestly, just driving yeah. you to the airport, man. I did it one day, and a girl spilled Sprite in my back seat. Oh, and I got stuck taking someone to F one one during a concert. Oh, I was like, this is the worst experience of my life. I never did it again. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, any closing thoughts on robots or anything else? Um, that is a man in a that's suit. That's a man in a suit. That is not. Yeah, that's yeah, a man. It's in walking suit. way too. That is one of Daft. That's Punk. SpaceX. That is, <laughs> that is what that is. That's Neil Armstrong or Daft Punk. One no, of the two. Oh, he's gonna get in the taxi. Oh, the robo taxi. Okay, so wait, this is. The actual vehicle that's that the actual you said okay. was a concept. Oh, no, it's, this one has tires. See, that one had damn tires. <laughs> Look, there's it tires on it. Tires. There were no tires. I kind of want to see a rollout, though. He's, he's the, actually... the doors are really inefficient because if you're in a busy-ass city and they those aren't even true suicide doors, they're like, they open up like wings. Like, that yeah. is not a fit. You can't have doors like that. I I can see is that with the, with the invention of the Cybertruck and some of these vehicles is that he is going form over function. Obviously, they yeah. do that a lot. Yeah, yeah. because the Cybertruck handles like, but I've seen it off road. Not yeah. the best. When you have fu money, like Elon does, yeah. he can do that. He just gets to do that. Yeah, I it's, wish I could yeah. do that. But anyways, yeah. slated to be a billionaire. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas, TNT, and Mister X. Uh, we are out.